very moment wants us to begin to appreciate him, give him praise because he has been reigning in your life. Worship him, worship him this morning, worship him this morning. Today is the first Sunday in the month of July and we are at our immediate Thanksgiving. We are giving thanks to God because he has made us to see the first half of the year safe and sound. He has made us to scale through. He did not allow pestilence to overtake us. He did not Thanksgiving. 
in the name of Jesus. Let my thanksgiving open up, oh Lord, oh, more of the blessing that remain in the remaining six months of the year. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I want you to talk to God that, Lord, as I give you praise this morning, as I praise your name this week, dear thanksgiving, that, Lord, the remaining year, that, Lord, your blessing, let it open more blessing unto me. Let my thanksgiving open blessing unto me. Can we open our mouth and begin to pray? Father, as I praise you, even in this media thanksgiving, let my praises open more blessing for me for the remaining days of the year, for the remaining days of my life. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And the heaven of today, program be open in the name of Jesus. We will experience the touch of God in the name of Jesus. What else to pray for? Psalm 89 verse 24. Psalm 89 verse 24. It says, my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. I will just pray that the faithfulness and the mercy of God will be with our Father in the Lord. Let's pray up. Let's open our mouths and pray that prayer. The faithfulness and the mercy of God Almighty. Let it be upon our Father in the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Let the faithfulness and mercy of God be upon him. Even as the minister, as he lead us to praise you this morning. Your faithfulness and your mercy. Let it be with him. Oh, Lord, my Father, exalt his own in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Can you pray that prayer for yourself? Psalm 89, verse 24. Say, let my faithfulness, let the faithfulness and mercy of God be with me. Pray that prayer that the faithfulness and mercy of God, let it be with me. Can you open your mouth and begin to pray that prayer for the remaining six months, for the remaining journey of 2020. God, your faithfulness and your mercy, let it be with me. Your faithfulness and your mercy, let it be with me. Let it be with my family, in the name of Jesus. And he said, in my name shall it all be exalted. In your name, Lord Jesus, let my, let my home be exalted. In the name of Jesus, let my business be exalted. In the name of Jesus, let my family be lifted up. In the name of Jesus, let my ministry be lifted up. In the, in the name of Jesus, let my head be lifted up. Let my home be exalted. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you because you always answer. Father, we give you glory because you always answer us. We commit the remaining service, oh Lord, the remaining program unto your hand. The Holy Spirit, you have your way in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you because you always answer. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen, amen, amen. amen. In Jesus' name, say to Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Our God is an amazing God. He's an amazing King. For making us to see the middle of the year, right? Giving him thanks for being an amazing God in our life. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen.
your something amazing in your life in 2020. Come and shout a big hallelujah. Every living soul, praise the Lord. Every living soul. Amen. You know, today is a special day. Today is the second half of the year Thanksgiving, mid-year Thanksgiving. So, and it is the living, it is the living that can praise God. Those that die through accidents, those that die by this pandemic and some other sicknesses, they are people like us, the earth has swallowed them up. But God rescued you and I from the grave and he has given unto us the light of life. The light of life. So every living soul, I want you to praise God with everything in you. Every living soul, praise the Lord. Every living soul. You rescue us from grave. You provide for all our needs. You have, you have satisfied our heart with good things. We can say we are seeing your goodness in the life and the land of the living. Despite what is happening globally, Daddy, we want to thank you Lord for your mercy that we enjoy. We say that glorify in the name of Jesus. I want to thank you over here, your family worldwide. I give you all the glory for all our viewers, our friends, our family members, everyone watching us online. We give you all the glory for what you are doing in the family, for the ability given to them to be alive. We say we that glory by the name of Jesus. Amen. Today, as we have come before you to praise your name, the Bible says, and the Lord inhabit the praise of his people. So the Lord inhabit our praise. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Anyone that prays Lord, give it unto us in the name of Jesus. As we go into your world, Lord, speak to us. Give us understanding in the name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Say to Hallelujah. I want to welcome every one of us to today's service. Today, Thanksgiving service, media Thanksgiving service. As I've said, it is only the living that can praise God. And that you and I, we are alive today, is not by our making. It's not by power. It's not by might. But by my spirit. That you are alive today is the grace of God. I want to pray for somebody that throughout the days of your life, you will not miss the grace of God. Amen. The grace of God will not be removed from you. Amen. The mercy of God will not be removed from you. Amen. And I pray as you are year Thanksgiving. When they are going to do the end of the year Thanksgiving, you will not be missing. Amen. Your seat will not be vacant. Amen. I will not be missing. Amen. My seat will not be vacant. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let somebody shout a big hallelujah. hallelujah. We want to go into the word of God. Listen to what God wants to tell you this time. And you shall be blessed in the name of Jesus. Amen. I will be speaking on the topic thanking God in difficult and hard times. Thanking God in difficult and hard times. Everyone we 
will agree with me that globally we are experiencing difficult and hard time. Difficult and hard COVID-19 that is prevalent all over the world. Difficult, difficult and hard time as a result of the, of the aftermath of COVID-19, as a result of being locked down, as a result of business being closed down, churches being closed down, must be closed down, business are closing down. Hard time because a lot of people are losing their job. Not just losing job, many are losing their family. Not just losing family, Many are losing even their lives to these difficult times. And to praise God or to thank God becomes difficult. Challenges that confront many of us may not say, why should I thank God? Many are even saying, why should God allow this? Why should God allow all this? Can, can God stop all this mess? So why should I praise God? Why should I thank Him? But I want to tell us this morning, that in difficult times, in the times that are hard, that is the time that you need to praise it. Let's open our Bible to the book of Habakkuk. Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 17 to 19. Habakkuk chapter 19, chapter 3, verse 17 to 19. Even though the fig tree have no blossom, and there are no grapes on the vine, even though the holy, holy cross fails and the feet lie empty and barren, even though the flocks die in the field and the cattle bands are empty. Hear what it says, verse 18. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in the God of my salvation. The sovereign Lord is my strength. He makes me as a sure foot, foot, footed as dry as dead, able to tread upon the heights. Hallelujah. Amen. This prophet was saying that even though the fig tree have no blossom, we know the fig tree to blossom means that, yes, there is an expectation. Oh, when the fig tree blossom, so it's giving us expectation that there will be harvest. And he said, even where the grave, there is no grace on the vine. He's even saying that when the vine is supposed to bear grape, fruits, and it's no more bearing grapes, no fruits on the, on the vine. He says, when the only cross, you know, the only tree that's supposed to bring oil, when it fails, oil is not coming. And he said, even when the field lies empty, and barren, and the flocks die in the field, and the cattle bars are empty. Now, when we look into our life and our situation today, the olive oil is, has failed, money has failed, the vine is not bearing fruits, business are not bringing fruit as uh, uh, it's not yielding profit as expected, and we look at it that to consume. Things in the market become very high because of the high price of goods. You look into your storehouse where you keep food before, they are empty now. You, you normally buy uh, food in bags, in cartons, but now you are buying little by little. Everything is empty. But this prophet made us understand that yet I will rejoice in the Lord. That no matter the circumstances, no matter what is happening, I will give him praise. I will rejoice in the God of my salvation. Do you know the only antidote to terminate suffering, to terminate difficulties, is praise. We have seen a lot of examples in the scriptures that people are confronted with battle. Second Corinthians chapter 20, verse 22. They are confronted with battle. Five nations confront Israel. And they say, Lord, we are drawn for. What shall we do? The prophet of God says, Oh, yeah, Israel. Gather people that can praise God in the face of battle. 
Praise and thanksgiving is a weapon of most fear that no that enemy cannot stop. So if I say praise God in difficult times and in hard times, the weapon of praise is what triggers heaven to fight for you. The weapon of praise is what gives you victory in difficult times. So as they were praising and singing to the Lord, praise the Lord for his mercies and joys forever. The Bible says, even in the face of battle, the Lord sent an ambush man, ambushment to death, and they all killed their enemy. Today, as you praise God, God will give you victory. Amen. Why should we praise God in difficult times? We can be thankful in difficult times because God is unchangeable. You need to praise God because it's, not, it's unchangeable. What is happening did not change God. It's unchangeable God. In the book of Malachi 3.16, also Malachi 3.16, Hebrew 13, 8. And God the same yesterday, today. What is happening is not new to him. What is happening did not change him. He says, since God and his promises never failed, nor change, we are sure God will provide a way of escape and we should experience his we should salvation. Let somebody say amen. amen. So you have to praise God because he will never change. And as you praise him, you are praising because you know God is going to provide a way of escape for you, even in difficult times. He provide a way of escape for the people of Israel in the face of battle, and he showed them, he showed them his salvation. As you are listening to me, this very moment, this difficult time, God will provide a way of escape for you. He will show you his salvation. Let somebody say, I will experience the salvation of God. We need to thank God and we need to praise Him because God is sovereign. He's sovereign. He's in control of everything. He either causes it or allows everything to happen according to His eternal purpose and decree. Romans chapter 8, verse 28. Okay, together for good to them that love God and those that are called by His name. Many people say, why did God allow it? He allowed it to fulfill his purpose. He causes it to happen so that people can know him, so that his purpose over the whole world can be achieved. He's a sovereign God. Nobody can question him. His sovereign is unque unquestionable. So when he allows what is happening now, when he gives room for it, even if it's one that causes or he allows it, is to fulfill his purpose. I want to pray the purpose of God concerning what is happening globally will be fulfilled in your life. Amen. What is happening that you are experiencing now, that is a purpose that God wants to bring out. That is why you are experiencing it. And if I were you, I will thank God for this day. When I was finishing somewhere yesterday, I told them COVID-19 has provided an for online because all our services are indoor. Now they close down the church, churches who are online. So that is God wants his purpose to be revealed in all churches. A kind of uh, uh, wickedness against the church, but no. Now globally, the church has become church without war. It's fulfilling God's purpose. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Those that don't want to listen to the gospel before, we listen. Those that, are, that, are, those that are not hearing me before, we hear me as you are hearing me now. That is God's purpose. So there is a purpose. What, what is happening now wants to bring out in your life. I pray for you. That purpose will come out. Amen. So you have to thank God. Lord, I thank you for COVID-19. I thank you for what is happening globally. I thank you for this situation. Let what you want to bring out in this situation, let you comfort in my life. Don't let me miss it. I told us when we were doing our prayer to service that this is an opportunity for us to carry our testimony. So you better thank God so that his purpose can come to pass. Why do we need to praise him in difficult time? You need to praise because we are triumphant in Christ Jesus. Let somebody say, I am triumphant in Christ Jesus. 
Yes, you need to praise him because you know that no because no difficulty will prevail over you. Amen. Listen to me. There is no journey to success without passing the bridge or passing through the streets of failure, hardship, or difficulty. But we are assured of what? Victory. One thing that is prevalent that you must be assured of is that when you are passing through difficulties at that time, your victory is sure. That's what he said, my victory is sure. So you need to thank God because you know this season will not consume you. You are coming out better. You are coming out bigger. You are coming out refined. Listen to me. When God, when God passes through fire, he comes out what? Gloriously. So this may be a time that you are passing through fire, but I want to tell you, it will not consume you. Psalm 62 verse 12 says, we pass through fire, we pass through waters, many, many more ride upon us, but no, but you have brought us to what? To a wealthy place. Hallelujah. Amen. You see, when this pandemic will be over, where are you going to? Your wedding place. Malibu Shatani. Say, I will get to my wealthy place. So you need to praise God because you are triumphing. Hallelujah. What shall we say about such wonderful things as this? If God is for us, who can be against us? Who then will condemn us? No one, for Christ died for us and was raised to life for us. And he is sitting at the place of honor at God's right hand, pleading for us. Hallelujah. I pray for somebody because God is going to satisfy you with blessing, Amen. with riches. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Look at what the psalmist says in Psalm 63, verse 5 to 11. And you will express it in the name of Jesus. Amen. He said, you satisfied me. Psalm 63, verse 5 to 11. You satisfied me that the richest feast. I will praise you with songs of joy. I lie awake thinking of you, meditating on you through the night because you are my helper. Hallelujah. He said, I will sing for joy in the shadow of your wings. I cling to you, your strong right, and hold me secure. Hallelujah. I cling to you, your strong right, and hold me secure. But those plotting to destroy me, hey, hey, we come to ruin. We come to ruin. Difficulties, pandemic that is trying to destroy you will come to ruin. Amen. They will go down into the depth of the hell. They will die by the sword and become the food for their cars. But here, yeah, but the king will rejoice in God. All who trust in him will praise him. Why liars will be silent. Let somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. The Bible says you will rejoice in him. You will praise him. Every liar's Every evil do us will be what we be silenced. Hallelujah. We need to praise God in the in difficult times because we have salvation. We have salvation. Life is not as stable. We know that. Life is not stable, it's not certain as we all think. Because a lot of things is happening, and you will, you will be saying, Why me? So, but there is one thing that is sure God will give you salvation. Everything else will be taken away from us. Everything, everything, everything else can be taken away from you. From you. Joy can be taken away. Houses can be taken away. Health can be taken away. Freedom. But our life in Christ is secure. It's certain. Hallelujah. Those that are in Christ Jesus, please, when something happens to you, job taken away from you. Family taking away from you. You are experiencing some certain ups and down. Please don't allow it to put you down. Just know that there is light at the end of the tunnel. Just know there is salvation. There is deliverance for you. And God will make it happen in the name of Jesus. Immediately, truly, praising God in difficult times is not easy. But by remembering that our God is unchanging, Remember that this God is sovereign. Remember that God will make you to triumph and provide you way of salvation. And to make you know that 
whatever you are passing through, God is with you, then you will praise him. Habakkuk said, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will take joy in the God of my salvation. Say, God, the Lord is my strength. He made my feet like a deer. He made bread upon my high place. That's what God is going to do for you this season as you praise him. Don't stop praising him. In Acts of Apostles chapter 16, verse 25 to 26, Paul and Salah were praising God. Hey! If I were Paul and Salah, then I would not be able to praise God because it's difficult. I would say, I'm preaching. I'm proclaiming Christ. And I was beaten like this. God did not come to my rescue. But in their pain, they praised God. And what happened? God descended down. He descended down. He happy their praise. And the foundation of the prison were shaken. And the door were broken. And they came out rejoicing. Somebody has to praise God. Every shame that is down, we break in the name of Jesus. You will come out from that prison. You will come out from that difficulties. So praise is an instrument to bring you out of difficulties. King Jehoshaphat, as I've said, sing praise to God. And he overcame his enemy. You will overcome in the name of Jesus. In Psalm 34, David reminds us that we should praise God through the good times and bad times. A song that says, God of the good times is still God of the hard times. So we need to praise him. Praise should fill our hearts every day. No matter what circumstances. Listen to me. No matter what you are passing through, make sure that you praise God every day. Especially when you are walking through times of trials like this. Praise God in, in the storm. Praise Him when it's raining. Praise Him when you are fighting. Praise Him when you are passing through fires. When you are in battle. When life gets harder, praise Him more. I want you to make sure that this season, your heart is filled of joy. Your heart is full of word of praise, word of thanksgiving. When you are getting something to you, say, Lord, I thank you. When I start, you say, Lord, I give you praise. Turn your eyes to him this time. Allow him to surround you with love and strength. And we do it for you in the name of Jesus. When the struggle begins to close in, listen, when the trouble begins to close in, you may find yourself without the words to pray. To pray may become difficult. You, you may not find a word of prayers, but I want to tell you, turn it to praise. Look for a Bible verse of praise. Take in songs of praise and begin to praise God. Use them as a weapon of warfare fear to confront your battle, to confront what you are passing through. And I pray for you that God will encourage you. Amen. Even this time, your battle will be over. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I love a song and a psalm. This psalm says, On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea, on the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea, hallelujah, the Lord is my portion in the land, the Lord is
I thank you for what I'm passing through. I give you glory. I worship your majesty. I thank you for this pandemic season, for making my eyes to see what is happening. I give you glory. I give you praise. I worship your majesty. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we give thanks. Say, oh Lord, my Father, oh, as I pray to you every day, bring a way of escape unto me. In the name of Jesus, as I praise you, deliver me as you deliver Paul and Silas. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, deliver me. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. The Bible says, come into his presence with praise. Say, come unto him with offering. I want us to take our offering right now. Offering of praise. Offering of thanksgiving. We are in the media thanksgiving. We are giving God praise. Your offering, your tithes, your monthly thanksgiving, your weekly thanksgiving. Please take it together wherever you are. The account is on the screen. FCMB is the account. Account. The account name is Glory of His Coming. The account number is 271 655 9019. 271 655 9019. FCMB. That is the account. That is the bank. And the account name is The Glory of His Coming. Please send in your offering, your tithe, into that account. Hallelujah. We want to give Him praise. We want to give Him thanks. Hey, what shall we do? Christ from the dead dwell in you. He said, He that raised 
raise up from the dead, we quicken your mortal bodies. Yes, spirit that dwelleth in you. That is Romans chapter 8 verse 11. Let the spirit that raised Christ up, let it quicken your mortal body in the name of Jesus. I want to pray for anyone that you are experiencing dryness, you are experiencing witherness, you are experiencing something like death. I pray for you and I prophesy. I call for the spirit of God to enter into you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible says, Ezekiel prophesy and dry bone come back to life. This season, every dry bone, every dead bone, every withered bone, withered life, I prophesy into your life. I call the spirit of God from the north, from the south, from the east, from the west to come into your life right now and live in the name of Jesus. You will not go with this season. In the name of Jesus. Globally, I pray God will comfort us. The purpose of God for this pandemic will be achieved. The name of the living God will be glorified. Let the Lord accept your offering. Let the Lord apply your tithes. Bless you richly. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Say to let somebody shout hallelujah. Please, let's listen to the following announcement. By God's grace, God is moving us forward, uh, upward, and we'll never go down in Jesus' name. Amen. God is in need of these things, and I want you to give it to God. God wants a video camera for this ministry, and I believe God is going to use you. Amen. God needs a laptop and iPad for his work here. God will use you in the name of Jesus. Amen. We need generator to power what we are doing. And I still have provided this, my God will surprise you. Amen. You can give us a cash. You can bring it. Have it. Please, let's endeavor to support God's work, God's kingdom, and He will support us even this time in the name of Jesus. Amen. Say a good amen. amen. The Bible says we brought nothing to this world and we are going to out of this world with nothing. Until we come, until we return. But the investment, what we put into the God's kingdom will be waiting for us there. Please, it is wise thing for you to support God's work as you have been doing, even no matter what is happening. As you bless him, he will bless you return in the name of Jesus. Amen. Say a good amen. amen. You can call me after the service. My number is 0803 366 0803-366-7. By God's grace, tomorrow, as from tomorrow Monday, we are going to have movement of apostolic impact every Monday, and it will be coming by 7 p.m. online on Facebook and Instagram and our YouTube channel. 7 p.m. I'll be speaking on the topic imparting your generation. You want to make impact in this generation, please log on on Monday, 7 p.m. Every Friday we'll be having our Miracle and River service on Friday and it's going to be 7 p.m. Our Sunday service is 10 a.m. every Sunday. You are going to enjoy powerful ministration in the name of Jesus. By God's grace, every day, that is our daily prayer that you need to get every day. Moment of prophetic and apostolic prayers. Log into our YouTube channel. You get your daily prayers on that YouTube channel. Glory Impact TV. The Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus. Today, are you blessed? Are you fulfilled? Rise to your feet wherever you are. Raise your hands, one hand to the heavens. I declare this will be a good week for you. In the name of Jesus. As you are going after this Thanksgiving, go into your testimony. Receive that new testimony. The Lord will remember you. The Lord will give you favor. In the name of Jesus. Whatever is impossible before, become possible. So shall it be. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' mighty name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Let somebody shout hallelujah.